Hello friends, welcome back to Gauri's Kitchen. Today we are going to see a very different recipe. It is very simple to make and also taste delicious. Um, we are going to make a uh, ridge cut stew and uh, kurkure bendi. It's very simple. Before going to the video, please like, share, subscribe our channel. Thank you. First, we will see how to make ridge cut stew. In Tamil, we call it as uh, pirkanga kutta. The required ingredients for this are Take 5 long ridge cut. I have cut them to medium sized pieces like this. Then, we need uh, 4 medium sized big onions and uh, 6 tomatoes chopped finely then uh, coriander leaves curry leaves handful for tempering we need uh, green chilies i have taken three green chilies remove the seeds then uh, six pieces of garlic and a half inch of ginger two cinnamon one teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds and uh, if you uh, you can add uh, cardamom as uh, whole or you can make it a powder like this i have taken five cardamom in tamil we call it as ilaichi um, you can add uh, four to five ilaichis three cloves and uh, tur dal i have taken three fourth of this cup See, I have taken this cup as measurement. I have taken three fourth of this cup. It weighs nearly uh, nearly one fifty grams of tooth dal. You can take uh, Bengal gram instead. For that, uh, I have taken. You can take uh, hundred grams of Bengal gram. Either it's your wish to add any dal. Today I have taken tur dal. Now let's see how to make it. Now I have taken a pressure cooker. Add uh, 3 to 4 teaspoons of uh, gingerly oil. When the oil gets heated, add 2 cinnamon. Three cloves, one teaspoon jeera, and uh, cardamom powder, green chilies, and garlic. Now sort them well. The raw smell of uh, green chilies, garlic, and ginger should go. After that, add uh, half teaspoon of asafoetida. Sort them well. Add handful of curry leaves. Now add half teaspoon of turmeric powder. One teaspoon chili powder. One teaspoon coriander powder. Mix them well. You should put the powder in oil itself. Then only the raw smell of powder will go smooth. Now add salt to it. After this add onion. Mix it well. Now add tomatoes. Mix it well. After 
आफ्टर टू मिनट सॉफ्ट फॉर सॉफ्टिंग करना तो रिस्कार Now add to that. After this, mix the dal well with the chikar, and uh, you can uh, keep the pressure. Now add coriander leaves. For one cup of one cup of tur dal, add four cups of water. After adding water, uh, check the salt and uh, chili powder if it is correct, and then you can uh, keep the whistle. Now keep the whistle and uh, let let it in uh, high flame for ten minutes. For two three whistles, you can keep and uh, turn off the stove. Uh, in the meantime, you can uh, make bendy kurkuri. For that, take a mixing bowl and uh, cut bendy like this. All the seeds should be removed as well as the any nibber. Uh, if bendy is not uh, tender and soft, then you you should not uh, use that. The top of bendy should uh, break if you fold it. Take uh, those bendies and chop like this. After this, add uh, now add five teaspoons of uh, basin flour. After this, add three teaspoons of rice flour. After this, add uh, chili powder. Put uh, one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. After this, add turmeric powder. Uh, turmeric powder can be half teaspoon. After this, add salt. Add salt, required amount. And the uh, main thing is you should not add water to this recipe. Just mix them and fry them in oil. All the masalas and uh, flour we have added should be coated for the lady's finger. Take a pan and pour a little oil to it to fry the kurkure bindi. Uh, let the oil heat up so that we can add the bindi to it. Now the oil that uh, got heated, add the kukri bindi to it. No need to tap excess uh, powder if it's sticking. Uh, you can uh, just cook like that as it is. Now uh, the bindi has cooked three fourths. You can taste it now. Now this is the remainings of previous bendy we have fried it. You see that uh, as it's very dry and no water is added to it, the uh, gram flour and uh, rice flour shredded from the bendies. Uh, to this flour again you should add uh, 1 teaspoon of chili powder and required amount of salt. After that uh, put the fried bendies to it. And we'll have to uh, make double double Thick. coating uh, so that the masalas are well blended with the lady's finger. You should not uh, add the bindis uh, immediately uh, after the first fry. Rest it for uh, 10 minutes. After that you can uh, make this. Uh, the bindi should be little oily. Uh, so that the coating gets uh, as the bendy got uh, fried in deep oil uh, it, uh, it 
it contains little oil uh, on the surface of bindi so that this oil helps in uh, making the coat well it binds well now mix it you can see that the oil we have just fried uh, turns to red in color because all the masala and the uh, uh, gram flour rice flour everything has been uh, shredded with the oil uh, because we have not added uh, water so that it uh, did not combine well add little more oil to this pan and uh, and make uh, the double coated bindi fry you no need to worry about uh, oil turning to red color because uh, it uh, it is definitely it will come like that because you have not added water and uh, um, also when we uh, double fry the bindi it will become crunchy just as uh, kurkure is again when the oil heats up put the double coated bindi to it and uh, fry well now our lunch is ready here we have made the rich card stew and the kukure bindi is ready see how delicious it looks and here i have gooseberry pickle and some mint chutney our healthy meal is ready now So if you like this video please like share and subscribe our channel and please put your valuable comments below thank you